Hey, my name is Ben. Thanks for stopping by. Today we just finished installing this uh, R410A air conditioner. And what I want to go over is just kind of explain the pressures that this thing is running at. So it kind of gives you a baseline for what R410A pressures should look like. Uh, right now, uh, the system has been running for a little while and it's really important to pay attention to your ambient conditions. So today it is 83 degrees out. We are in the shade, so it should be pretty much 83 degrees air that's being pulled through this outdoor unit. And inside, I think it's about 76, 78, something like that, yeah. I want to say. Um, so it's pretty normal conditions that this thing is operating under right now, which is perfect for being able to just kind of get a baseline idea of what our pressures are running at. If your temperatures are a lot different, you're going to have to take that into account when you're looking at your pressures for your unit. So uh, just real quick, explain the connections that we have here. We have our larger line here, which is our suction line, and we have our blue hose or our low side hose connected here. That's designated on our gauges by low on the side handle right there and a blue dot. Uh, and then we've got the high side, uh, which is the smaller line right here, uh, coming up on the opposite side of the gauges right there. And both of these valves are turned off. So up here on the display, it's uh, reading out our temperature, or I mean our, our pressures coming from each side. So that's how the gauges are hooked up. So on the, on these gauges here, see if I can get this thing to show it better. There we go. You can see right down here it says R410A. Uh, with digital gauges, it's one of the benefits of them is that you can just select which type of refrigerant you're working with and it does the math on calculating the pressure temperature chart for you. So there's R22, that's the old common uh, classic there, but down one is R410A. So uh, with the 410A here, you can see on the low side we're running at 125 uh, pounds. So as a general rule, uh, you can say that you want to look for around 125 pounds on the low side. But you can see this number right underneath here, uh, and that's for 410A only. It, depending, if you have a different type of refrigerant, it's going to be different. You can see right here where it says 43 degrees VSAT, or vapor saturation temperature. And that's the number you kind of, if you want to understand a little bit more, uh, that is the temperature that the, the Freon is evaporating at in the uh, coil downstairs. And so what's important is that, not, is that that number doesn't drop below 32 degrees. Uh, generally, 38 to, I mean, I should just say 35 to 45, if you want to be a little bit more generous, is fine. If your air conditioner is running at that, it's likely not going to be freezing up. Now, this system has a thermal expansion valve in it, meaning that we can't charge or adjust the charge in the system with pressure alone. If you're reading pressures on a system that has a thermal expansion valve, that expansion valve can control the pressure in the low side. So you don't want to just say, oh, this thing looks like it's low on refrigerant, let's dump a bunch in. Uh, because it might not fix the problem if you have an expansion valve that has failed partially closed. Okay, let's go back to the high side here and talk about that really quick. Uh, you can see that we're running at 287 PSI and that correlates to a liquid saturation temperature of 93 degrees. Now, we already talked about uh, the ambient temperature here is 83 degrees, so that's exactly 10 degrees above uh, ambient conditions. So that kind of gives you a baseline. Uh, generally speaking, in refrigeration applications, uh, that liquid saturation temperature for the condenser, so for this outside coil here, uh, you would never want that pressure to correlate to a temperature higher than 30 degrees above ambient. So there's a couple things I wanted to mention regarding that 30 degree uh, rule of thumb. Uh, it is just that. It's a rule of thumb and actually the 30 degrees only applies to extremely old units and or some refrigeration applications where you have an older condenser you'll see 30 degrees over ambient uh, but most of the time with modern air conditioners you're gonna see it closer to 15 degrees and often even less like you saw it was 10 degrees in this one. I want to thank today's sponsor House Call Pro they do a great job of helping you keep your business organized. So if you work in a service industry business, take a second and just check them out uh, and see if it's something that will be a good fit for your business. Head on over to housecallpro.com Ben where you can check out a free demo of their app 
And if you use my link at the top of the description, you'll get your first month for only $19. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this to be helpful, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe down below for more videos like this one. Make sure you hit the bell icon to be notified about future videos when I post them. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see if I can answer them either in the comments or in a future video. We should invest in a bigger van.